Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of how to make your own discord bot in python. So let's get started. So guys in today's video we will be seeing how we can create one afk command. So let's try to get into it. So everyone just in case you don't know what an afk command is it is just away from keyboard. So how does it work? So what happens is in an AFK command, like let's say you are off to something and you cannot really work on Discord for some specific amount of time, then what you will do is you will just say dot AFK and your AFK note. AFK note be something like, like let's say I'm studying. So I'll just say AFK study. Uh, you can just keep anything as a note. So this will notify the users that this person is AFK. Now let's say a person mentions you while you are afk then he she will be you know notified with a message that this this person is afk and the afk note and let's say someone replies to your message and you get a reply pinch due to that then what will happen is then also the bot will see if there was a message dot reference and the author of that reference is you then it will again send that message that this this person is afk due to so and so reasons now what we'll be doing is we'll be storing the data of members you know like uh, we'll be storing the data in the form of a dictionary so python dictionary contains a key and a value pair as you all must be acquainted with so we'll be saving the member id in the key and the value will be the reason which will be just the afk note so what i'll do is i'll just create one new file that will be my afks.py so it will just save the info regarding all the people who are afk and this will be outside the cogs make sure of that so i'll just say afk is equal to an empty dictionary we'll be importing this file into our other files now what i'll say is i'll say from my afks import for me afks so i'll just imported the afks now let's create the function so there will be one afk function my at the rate commands dot command you can give it an aliases if you want to now i'll say async def afk and it will have a self ctx and a multi parameter which will be the reason it can be you know no reason provided by default okay i did one syntax mistake here so yeah now I'll just define my member as my ctx.author because we'll be using this member object uh, you know too frequent now. Now I'll check if the member is not already afk. Let's say firstly I said afk you know playing anything. Now let's say I want to change my afk then I'll again come and say afk doing mathematics or maybe studying. So I'll just say afk studying or whatever you know then it will update my afk and it will you know again create one afk and the note will be changed so i'll say if my member dot id in my afk is dot keys means uh, if the member is already in the afk dot keys then what i'll do is i'll just say afk is dot pop i'll just remove the entry of the member so i'll say member dot id now i'll create one embed so embed will be discord dot embed like always and it will have a title which will be you know member afk and we'll maybe you know put one uh, sleeping emote member afk will have a description and the description will be member dot mention has gone afk fine and the color color of the you know uh, embed will be the color of member so i'll just say my member dot color so this will you know acquire the color of the top role of the member so the embed will be the color of top role of the member so this makes more sense you know so that's what we'll be doing now i'll just say embed dot set thumbnail so the set uh, the thumbnail will be you know members avatar url so i'll say ember, member dot avatar url now i'll say my embed dot set author and the author will be you know name will be my bot dot name so i'll just say cell dot bot dot user dot name and the you know uh, the icon url so icon url will be myself dot bot dot user dot uh, avatar url okay so it makes sense now i'll just add one field so i'll say embed dot add field name will be my afk note so i'll just say afk note and value will be my you know reason 
so reason is by default no reason provided makes sense now i'll just send this embed into the ctx so i'll say await my ctx dot send embed when a member is you know gone afk then we need to add the entry so i'll say afk dot member dot id will be equal to my reason so this will contain now this means that the key in afk will be uh, my member dot id and reason will be the value so it will just add an entry into my afk list which you can see here so right now it's empty and obviously it's empty now we'll do one more thing when the person goes afk then the nickname of the person in that particular server also changes so what i'll say is i'll create an else statement and if you know if the member is not already afk then i'll make it afk so i'll create one try accept statement so i'll say try try will be i'll change the nickname of the member so why i'm doing try accept because there are possibilities that the bot is not able to edit the you know nickname of the member like let's say i'm the owner of the server you know bot can obviously not change my nickname so i'll just say my member dot edit and i'll say nick is equal to i'll just make an f string i'll make it afk and i'll just pass my member dot display name which will be the ma which will be the nick and in the accept statement i'll just say pass because we know that the bot doesn't have the permissions to do so okay so this seems pretty much fine for the afk command now let's head over to our on event cog so in the on event cog we'll be making one on message function to check if the if someone have mentioned the user like mentioned the person who is afk or if someone has replied to a message uh, to a person who is afk so I'll just, you know, from my AFKs, import for me AFKs. So I've got my AFKs and I'll create one on event statement, which will be commands dot uh, cog dot listener. So we have done on event commands before, so it will be on message. So we haven't made one on message command yet, so yet we are making one. So this is my on message and it's a self message pretty much simple it will have obviously a message parameter now what we'll be doing is let's say the person is afk now if the person comes back from afk then he she will message something now when he she messages then we'll say welcome back some so and so user and we'll just remove the afk so I'll, what i'll say is i'll just go like if my you know message dot author dot id in my afk's dot keys so what does this mean so it means that the message dot author dot id so message dot author like let's say i am the person who was afk and if i text something then it will check if my id was in my afk dot keys so if it is means the person is not afk anymore afk away from keyboard repeating again so i'll just say i'll just say afk is dot pop so pop is just to remove the key so i'll just say message dot author dot id also guys i just wanted to say that the like goal of this video is 20 likes let's see if we could reach it like i always say so let's get back to coding so i'll just create one try accept statement and i'll again edit the you know the i'll again edit the nickname of the user now there are possibilities then the person who is afk may or may not have you know the afk like uh, let's say my nickname is code stacks so there are possibilities that the bot couldn't change my nickname or there are chances that some person who is you know zen zen zens which is my all it can change its nickname so it will just say it will just make it like afk we need to create one function through which we can remove this afk and we need to make sure that it may or may not be in the nickname of the user like here it is not and here it is because code stacks is the owner of the servers so bot cannot edit its nickname while it can edit of zen zen zens let's create one function for that so i'll just uh, create one function to remove and uh, it will have an afk parameter which will be obviously in string so what i'll say is i'll say if my a string which is afk in my afk dot split so the split will you know break the string on the basis of spaces so if it is in there like let's say this was my zen zen zen's right 
it was afk zin 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 so it will split and it will have two objects one of them will be afk second will be zin 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 so we need to return something which will not contain this afk so i'll just say return afk dot split and i'll say one and above index one and above index means it will just skip this afk index and whatever is above this will be considered now i'll just join this so i'll just do with a space dot join and i'll pass the list inside so yeah this works this works awesome and in the else statement means in the case of you know code stacks it will just return the afk now what i'll say is i'll say await my message dot author dot edit and i'll just say nick is equal to my remove my it requires afk which is a string so i'll just say message dot author dot display name okay and in the accept statement we'll just pass now we'll just send one message in the ctx saying welcome back author so i'll just say wait okay not ctx my message dot channel yeah so i'll just send one message welcome back and my member dot name so i'll just say my you know message dot author dot name i removed your afk okay so yeah this this should be pretty much done now we need to create one function to you know uh, in this on message only we need to check if the user is mentioned so what i'll say is i'll just say uh, i'll just look through my afk's list so i'll say for my id and reason in my afk's dot items so it will just look through all the id and reasons and what i'll say is i'll have to get the member first so i'll say my member okay not memory view member is equal to my get which is my discord dot utils and i'll say member i'll say message dot guild dot members and i'll have pass my id id will be my id so this is pretty much obvious and we have got the member object now what we need to say now this is a pretty much complicated part so better focus here and you should probably stop coding for now so what i'll say is i'll say if my message dot reference so this message dot reference means someone replied to someone's message now we just know that someone replied to someone's message so if that is true then this message dot reference will be true then we'll create one and statement and in the and statement i'll say member is equal to now i'll say await my message dot channel dot fetch message and i'll say my message dot reference dot message id so what does this mean so what i'm doing here is i'm saying my await message dot channel dot fetch message i'm just fetching the message from this channel and i'm saying message dot reference reference means the message to which the user replied dot message id so i've got the message and i'll just say author so i'm just checking if my member is equal to my you know this 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 author this message author so if this is true or I'll create an or statement. So this part was for replying. The or statement will be if my member dot id in my message dot raw mentions. So this raw mentions will contain the id of the members. So if this is true, then we'll just send one message. So I'll say await message dot reply. So I'll reply to the message and I'll say it will be an f string member dot name is afk afk note and afk note will be you know our reason so afk note and we'll we'll preferably put a colon here so yeah it looks pretty much fine now let's try running it and hope for no errors so i'll just go to main run it oh so the bot is running now i'll just call my afk command i'll say afk and hey hey just just something i forgot to await this so yeah make sure to await this because we are editing and also in my information i just saw that i just didn't do embed is equal to embed yeah make sure of that so that's why it was sending discard at embeds and stuff so i'll just run it again 
and I'll say AFK my something something like something and the bot is running and it says member AFK code stacks has gone AFK now let me let me you know test it out so I'll just I'll just mention myself from my other account and let's say at the rate code stacks and it says code stacks is AFK AFK note something now let me reply to one message of code stacks so I'll just say you know hey hey and it says code stacks is AFK AFK note so it is working pretty much well now let me message something so I'll say um back or you know anything so it will say welcome back code stacks i removed your afk and if i you know mention myself again it's working pretty much well so it is not showing the message again now let me do afk from my other account as you can see my username was not like my nickname was not changed because i am i am you know administrator here so i'll just call afk from my other account so i'll say afk and it says as you can see the username have changed to afk zins and zins and if i mention zins and zins it says zins and zins is afk afk note no reason provided now let me you know let me message something from zins and zins hi there and it says welcome back zins and zins i removed your afk and as you can see the nickname is changed back to the normal one okay so that's all for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed it like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't subscribe and share for more and i'll see you guys in the next one